right, so here's the other one right here. Um, don't know exactly. Uh, this is a this is a, a, a H E T H Y a Hathia. So this is this is who we got the uh, the blue one from. So this is from that company where the blue one come from. All right, so let's see what it looks like. I'm saying I'm we'll say it's probably similar to that one, but we'll see. Maybe the single layer. Huh? Maybe the single layer. It might be. Well, we got the double layered one. Yeah, maybe. Alright, there's that. So here's this one. Yep. All right. There's all the extra stuff to it. That's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. All right. So here is power cords, uh, extra hose for this, um, spray bottle. Okay. And stop touching. Don't I have some stuff in there? Honey, that? you just about got your finger cut off. You stuck your finger right there where I was pulling my knife up. All right, this Ooh. is the waterer, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's the waterer, so you can plug it up just like that. All right, That's a little bit more. and then another one. this is the power cord, I'm going to say. Yep, power cord. All right, so here's the power cord. Now this one is the same as you know, it turns. There's the instructions there. 15 egg incubator. And all you gotta do is you put a cup of water and uh, this one goes in and, and you got that extra hose there, I guess, that goes in a cup of water. And this pulls it and out and puts it in to the incubator right here. And this sits right there like that um, you have a motor here just like the other one and that will turn your uh, your eggs right here like so you got your candler here temperature and all that stuff up here and you have your little place where you can close it on the side and so this one's 15 eggs and this one here is uh, like 24 24 all right yeah 24 eggs so uh two different companies uh and two different incubators that we're going to be testing out for you guys and showing you guys exactly how they work now this is going to be set up from here we're going to uh make individual videos okay we'll bring you back when we got these put together and incubating and we've got the eggs in here we'll bring you back then and show you everything running but from here out these are going to be individual videos for the companies on this specific setup for the the uh, the Hayithia, uh, or however you pronounce that name, and this one over here, the Vano Pubs Incubator. Okay, so if you want to look at those and how these are set up, check those videos out, 
if you're interested in either one of those on the setup of these. If not, we'll bring you back when we got them set up with eggs and running. See you in a second. It has the owner's manual here. We have an extra hose, which we're gonna show you that in a minute. We have a water pump right here. We have the water hose that goes into the reservoir inside. We have our power cord. We have a spray bottle here, I guess, to spray your eggs with peroxide because they say that increases the chances of incubated uh, or in incubation uh, rate. Uh, and then what we have decided, because we like to hatch our stuff out in the styrofoam, not only are we going to use the bottom on this one, but they've actually notched out the styrofoam on both the top and the bottom to where the hose can run out. All right, you can still use the candler. You can still uh, work the humidifier hole or the humidity hole on here. And you can still see the temperature and the humidity and everything. And you can still candle eggs if you so choose, uh, you know, but you'd have to take this off to get the, to get the eggs. But if you got another one, in, you know, another incubator, you can certainly use this candler to, uh, to do that with this still on. So we're probably gonna use it with this on just to help hold heat because we do keep our house pretty daggone chilly in the summertime. Uh, and so um, we're gonna put that on once this is filled with eggs. So let's start getting into this. First thing I want you to look is on the back side of this Haithia uh, 15 egg incubator, you have the power side right here, directly behind your temperature. So when you're looking at this, you'll see temperature and directly behind that is your power. Now. Right here, it says humidity on the right-hand side, and directly behind that is your port for your water pump. So, first thing we're going to do is we're gonna hook this water pump up. We have our inlet hole, which is right here, and uh, we're gonna put this on right quick. So there is our inlet hole is uh, hooked up and here is the outlet. Oh, hang on a minute. Outlet. No, I hadn't hooked up right. They got it, they got it. They got it wrong. If you're wanting, so I was thinking if you're wanting to go in, this would be this the one that it's going into the pump. And this is the out of the pump. This is not <laughs> worded right. Uh, and so if you look at the picture right here, I had it correct, all right. Uh, the inlet does go into the uh the the uh incubator and the outlet comes from the water that should be the other way around it should be inlet coming from your water reservoir into the pump and then it coming out of the pump into the incubator uh and so that that is uh that is not correct the way that is so be sure that you uh that you hook it up properly because it, it does have some uh, some word differences there. Uh, now, would you fill that water bottle up for me? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug this up right here. We're go ahead and plug the power up right here. We have an extension cord somewhere here. Here's the cord. All right, so go ahead and hook that up. All right. So uh, while she's filling that up, we are low temp right now. All right. 
and we'll kind of go through some of this uh, instructions here. This right here, this hose just sets down in there like that and that will start drawing water out into the pump, out of the pump, into the reservoir inside of here. So this is heating up right now. Yeah. Temperature setting, press set key instrument, left. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, press set key instrument, left temperature display, digital tube window, begin to flash, right humidity display, digital tube display, PP, the temperature digital tube displays four digits as the original factor, factory temperature setting value. If you need to change it, please press the plus key or the minus key to adjust it so that the temperature is set to, uh, the temperature you need is 100.4 Fahrenheit. And then press the set key to save the temperature setting and then instrument digital tube flashes three times, 888888 to indicate that the setting is successful. If it is not saved for a long time after adjusting the temperature, the system will automatically save it for you. Humidity settings. Uh, after the temperature setting is, after the temperature setting, press the set key again to enter the humidity setting. Then the humidity display digital tube window will begin to flash. The left temperature display digital tube displays HH and the humidity display two digits are the only or the original factory humidity setting value. If you need to change, please press the plus key or the minus key to adjust so that the humidity value needs to be 60% RH. Then press the um, set key to save humidity setting the digital tube of the instrument flashes three times eight 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 to indicate that the setting is successful if not saved for a long time after adjusting the humidity the system will automatically save it for you all right so uh let's see here after uh the incubation is uh connected to the power supply the egg turning mode will be started automatically once every 90 minutes and the time for each egg turning is 20 seconds without manual setting. So uh, this also says to mark your egg when you put it in here. Mark the egg, the one egg, mark one egg with a star or something to indicate where that egg is at all times inside of here. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna do it on the end of the egg so that you can see it no matter how it's rolled inside of here, okay? So make sure you mark that egg on the end with an X or something to indicate, you know, that, that egg, that way you can see it in here and know that it is rotating within the unit. Okay. So, um, let's see, that's pretty much all we have here. So let's see here. 98.4 is the temperature, uh, and it is on, let's see here. The light, with the bright light, that works good. Oh, it's going to turn off on its own. This is working. It's, you can hear it every so often suck up some water. So that's starting to work. Humidity is at 30% in there. Uh, temperature 99.5. It is in Fahrenheit, so that's nice. The turner is turning. Right now, it's got a button here where you can turn it either or. It'll turn counterclockwise or clockwise. There is a sticker over this motor for the egg turner, and I'm going to leave that sticker on, piece of plastic on there, just to make sure that, uh, that we have it. Okay. We got the humidity thing here, humidity knob, 
So you want to start putting some eggs in it? It won't take long to get the humidity up. I don't know if it's gone down a little. Give me some water and I'll pour in there. No, just tighten it. Okay. Is the humidity still? 30, I think. 30 is way low. I think that's what it said. All right. H A sixty. Sixty is the humidity. Set on sixty. So all right. Well this is on and running. Wish that light would go off now, but it won't. So um This is nice though, because that 20 ounce bottle of water should last the entire cycle, I would think, wouldn't you? And I could probably drill a hole, put the cap back on that bottle, drill a hole big enough to fit the tube down in there. Sure. Yeah, yeah. In fact, let's go, I'm gonna go get some peroxide and put in this and we'll bath them down with a little bit of it. All right guys, so we're gonna load up this, um, incubator with uh, quail eggs Fitting two quail eggs per your thing. Some of them may fit three. But yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to. Oh, did you see that water just squirt up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it squirts up out of there. Mm -hmm. This doesn't just hold the water. It's not like a bunch of water in your squirting it out of there. It just squirts it every so often. That way there's not water sitting. I like that because then you don't have to worry about algae growth or uh, bacteria or anything like that. It's just squirting it out and, and, and not just letting a little a whole bunch of water sit. And it probably wouldn't be squirting out that much if the lid was on right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, There's gonna be a buttload of quail in it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. We load the other one up too with it, huh? Some of them are a little bit smaller. I don't don't know. crowd them. Don't crowd them. I'm not. Just if they easily fall down in there. Because we got more. That's what I'm saying. We can put them in the other incubator. Don't crowd them. Mm -hmm. We do have baby quail hatched out of that one. Yep. So. And look, guys, everybody who's like, oh, I got that incubator and it's not working right and this, that, and the other. Guys, I'm sorry that it's not working right. It's it, I have nothing to do with this company, like literally nothing to do with. Like I'm just telling you that it works good for us, and we've had multiple hatches out of this. Look here. I mean, there's look here. Quail there's quail in there now hatching. All right. Don't I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't supposed to do that. But anyhow, they're hatching. They're fine. I've not had any issues out of it. All right. I really don't want that third one in there. On that one, Let's, I don't want that. I don't, I'm scared that when they go to hatch, it'll not There's be enough room. Mm, well, where? Right right here. We'll just put them in their own separate thing. But anyhow, um, 
as far as I as far as I'm concerned, that's been a great incubator down there. Haitha or however you pronounce their name has been a, a great uh, company to uh, to to deal with. I've not had any issues out of their products or uh, you know any kind of questions or anything I've, or concerns I've had. They've been very responsive. So guys, I'm you know, again I'm sorry that you may have bought this and had problems out of it. I can only give you my account of how things work for me. All right. If they work good for me, I'm going to say that they're working good. You know what I mean? I'm not paid to tell anybody that these work good. I'm not, uh, you know, sponsored by Heathy at any in any uh, way, shape, or form. The products work for me. They do well for me. So, guys, here's all these quail eggs. We got them in here. Today is uh, July 5th, 2023. We're going to hatch these eggs out uh, 18 days from now, and we're going to see how they're doing. And uh, hopefully we'll have, how many is that, 15 times 2? It's 30 eggs in there. So hopefully we'll have 30 baby uh, quail running around and build our numbers up. Not only build our numbers up, but uh, get ready to eat some of them. All right. So, guys, uh, this is the Haitha um, 15 egg incubator, which if you're using quail eggs, you can get, you know, you've seen that there was some of them with three of them in there, but two I think is more than enough in there. So you can fit two eggs in there. So it makes it 30 for the quail eggs. Chicken eggs would be one each in there. Uh, and you would probably be hard pressed to get some big chicken eggs in there, wouldn't you say? Some more like the bigger Maybe eggs. Maybe it'll put like a duck egg, but I don't think a goose egg would fit. A goose egg will not fit in there. I know that. Duck eggs, depending on what size duck eggs or what size chicken eggs they are, you may be able to get them in there. But... Um, you're just going to have to, you know, if you got a chicken that lays larger eggs, you may want to get a different kind of incubator. Um, but anyhow, guys, we appreciate you watching. We're going to get this other incubator up and running, get it loaded up, and uh, we're going to show you that one next. But and So check that video out. We'll be back in uh, about uh, 18 days, uh, 18, to 18 to 20 days, to show you guys our hatch rate with this incubator. So please stay tuned for that update coming toward the end of July. All right, guys, see you next time right here in the hollers and hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Don't get the door. Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the door. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.